fellow crafters and paper artisans, it's Chandra with Stock and Stuff. I am here to share my apple cider treat pouch. I did something different this year. For those of you who have watched my channel for the last few years, you know that I usually use the coffee sleeve and create a little pocket with that. And so I decided to switch it up um, this year. And so I saw, um, I think I had it saved on my Pinterest board. Uh, Jennifer Roke had this um, type of pouch. And I really love the little caramel um, test tube holder. And I had bought some of these caramels last fall for myself. <laughs> and so I knew of them. So I picked up a bag this year. I just got them at my grocery store. But you could get them pretty much, you know, grocery store, Target, uh, that kind of thing. So I did um, two boxes of the Alpine apple cider pouches, instant apple cider that comes in the box, like hot cocoa. And I did 10 of them in plaids and 10 of them in Christmas paper um, because, you know, I just feel like this fair is so early that I need to have some fall and even some Halloween and all of that and not everything so Christmassy. So that's why I did that. So on the plaid ones, I basically used two different plaids. You know, it doesn't take a lot of paper to do... Um, a craft fair, um, craft fair item. So, um, the difference in, uh, the, what I did is I didn't cut the diagonal. I folded it down because I wanted that finished look. And I did the same thing in my tea pockets. If you watched my video on the tea travelers, I did the same thing with those pockets. I didn't cut it. I folded it down so it would have more of a finished and a little sturdier. And then I had to buy, so I had some test tubes, they were too little. So I had to buy, I know I had to buy something. I had to buy a larger test tube to do what I needed to do. And I had the hardest time finding, and I just wanted 20 because I just wanted to do this project. And so I actually bought them from a company, like a scientific company, and they came like in two days. Um, and they, I did check, they were food safe. So it was like for experiments type of thing. Um, but it was a small business, so they're plastic, um, not glass. And they had the cork and I got 10 for $5. So, um, I thought that wasn't so terrible. And so I bought two packs and they came really quickly. So, um, and then I added one of the silver Dollar Tree spoons, and this Ghirardelli, I think it's it, it's an exclusive to Target. It's um, Ghirardelli Squared Caramel Apple. So I had not um, seen that and I have not tried it, but uh, I did put it in my pouches. So the plaid ones got an apple and I just had some circles in my, in my stash already cut. So I just did that. And then the ornaments, I have a, those Stampin' Up! ornament punches. So I just used more circles from my stash and popped up some ornaments um, on, um, just put, cut some ornaments out of some scraps and popped them up on there just so that the front wasn't so blank. And then I didn't like that they were just like blank on the back. So I just added, um, well, I did on most of them and I either added some ornament paper or apple paper. And I see I missed one here, but it'll be all right. Um, so that it wasn't just, um, you know a solid on the back but that's just me and my situation um it doesn't have to be done i think the crafter that i followed um the crafter that i followed did not do that so um that's just me so anyway so um i just wanted to share those this is another crafter item i am almost to the end of the road as far as time so i don't i'm not going to get everything done that i wanted to get done um, because now I, I need to work on signage and and um, making sure that my Square app is up to date with my new items. So I'm just going in with it is what it is. And I have some leftover, um, you know, non-perishable items from last year. I'll throw those out there and we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching this week. Um, if I get one more thing made, I will make sure that I share a video with you. Have a great day. I will also link in all of my videos, sorry, I will also link the um, the crafter that I got the inspiration from. Thanks.